In this lecture, we are going to clear the unread message count in the database if the message is already read. So if I go to our application, currently here, Mary Jane chat is selected. So if Mary sends a message to John, and if that chat is already selected, then John will see that message immediately because it will come here immediately. So in that case, we don't want to display any unread message count. And that functionality we implemented in our last lecture. So from here, if I send a new message to John, let's say, can we meet today? If I send this message, it will be sent in real time. Now again, these messages are shown two times because the event listener has been added twice for receive message event. But we are going to fix it in the future. And if I go here, you can see that message received and the unread message count is also not displayed. But if I refresh the page, then you will see that there is one unread message count for Mary Jane. And this is because we are sending the message in real time, but we are not updating it in the database. We are not updating the unread message count in the database. And that's what we are going to do in this lecture. And we are going to do it in real time. So let's go to VS Code. And let's go to, let me close this user slice here. Let's go to user list component. Or let's go to chat area here because in the chat area component, we have this clear unread message function, which is responsible for clearing the unread messages in the database. So from here, we are making an API call to set the unread message count in the database to zero. So we are going to call this function now, when do we want to call this function? Whenever this receive message event will be handled by this event handler function. So there, first we are setting all the messages. After this if statement, what we are going to do is we are going to check if the selected chat ID is equal to the chat ID in the message. So here we have the selected chat variable, which is storing the selected chat. So if it's ID, if it is equal to the ID which we are receiving for the message, so this data here, it is going to receive the message data. Let me actually call it as message instead of data. And here also it should be message. Okay, so if the selected chat ID is equal to the chat ID which we are receiving in message, and if the sender of that message so every message also have a sender property which is storing a user id if it is not equal to the currently logged in user id and we have that currently logged in user id in this user state so let me copy it and here let's say user dot underscore id then we want to do something now what do we want to do we want to call the clear unread message count this function okay let me check yeah it is clear unread message function so we want to call that clear unread message function all right so if the selected chat is equal to the chat id and if the sender of that message is not the currently logged in user then only we want to clear the unread message and now in the clear and read message in this function what we are going to do is first of all since we are doing everything in real time we are going to remove this loader that is the first thing let's also remove it from the catch block and then from here we are going to emit a new event so for that let's say socket dot emit and here we want to emit a new event and I'll call it as clear unread messages. And with this event, we are also going to send some data. Now, what data are we going to send from here? So here in this object, we are going to have a chat, the chat ID. Okay. So the chat ID will be the selected chat dot underscore ID. And we can also pass the members because here we are passing the members because from the server we are going to emit a new event for the members of this chat 
so that event should be raised only for the members which we have in this members array so to get the members again from the selected chat each chat has this members array from that members array we want to get the user id of the members so for that i'm going to use this map function and we'll specify that we only want the ids of the member so this map function is going to return us a new array in that array we will only have the ids of the member let's save the changes here and now let's go ahead and let's listen for this event on our server so let's go to our express application there we are listening to this send message event in the same way we are going to listen for clear and read message event so again on the socket we are going to use this on method and here we want to listen to clear and read message event here we are also going to receive event data so that data will be assigned to this data variable this data parameter which we are specifying for this callback function and this callback function will be executed whenever this clear and read message event will happen on the client now what do we want to do here from here we are going to raise a new event and that event should be raised only for the members of the chat so here i'm going to use this io instance on that we will use two so here we can say data dot members of zero so in the members array we are going to have two members two user objects so i want to emit this event for both those user objects again i'll say two and data dot members of one so here i'm using index index of user one and user two and finally we are going to emit a new event we are going to call that event maybe message count cleared you can name it anything okay and with this we are also going to emit some data so basically i want to emit the same data which we are receiving for this clear and read message event let's save the changes here and now finally we are going to listen for this event on the client now i know this might be a little bit confusing because we are raising event from the client and then listing it on the server and then we are raising events on the server and then listening it on the client so it's a little bit back and forth but this is how socket io works so let's go to our react application and here now again scroll down to use effect and there now we are going to listen to that event so to listen to an event again on the socket we have this on method now which event do we want to listen here we want to listen to message count cleared event and with this event we are also receiving some data so that data will be assigned to this data parameter of this callback function and inside this we are going to write some logic to clear the unread message count and for that here we need two states we need the selected chat and we need the all chats and as we have learned earlier inside the event handler functions of socket we cannot directly access redux state or react state so here we will have to write the logic to get access to the selected chat as well as all chats array so again i'm going to create a variable let's call it selected chat and to get the selected chat first of all we are going to use this store we already have this store imported in this file on that we are going to call get state on that get state we are going to access user reducer and from there we are going to access selected chat state in the same way i also need all chat state so let me copy this line let's paste it here let's simply rename it to all chats you can name these variables anything and here i want to access the all chat state all right so this is the first thing now we are going to check if the selected chat id is equal to the chat id which we are receiving in this data because if you remember in this data we will have the chat id and the members array right so here let's write an if statement and there let's check if the selected chat dot underscore id if it is equal to the data dot chat id and here the i should be caps 
then what we are going to do is we are going to loop over the all chats array and for that i am going to use this map function and for each iteration we are going to receive the chat object in a variable let's call that variable simply chat and then here we are going to write some logic and here we are going to check if the chat dot underscore id if it is equal to the chat id which we are receiving in the data so data dot chat id then we want to return a new chat object in that chat object i want to have all the properties of that chat object and there i want to set unread message count to zero okay otherwise i simply want to return the original chat object and this map function it is going to return us a new array with the transform data so let's go ahead and let's store it in a variable let's call it updated chats now just understand it carefully what we did is first of all whenever the receive message event is happening we are calling this clear unread message function and from this function we are calling an api to clear the unread message count in the database so at this point in the database the unread message count will be cleared and it will be set to zero so in the database that change has been done but we also want to display it in real time and for that we are writing this logic once the unread message count is updated in the database we are emitting this event message count cleared and then this event is going to update the unread message count in the chat object and for that we also need to call this dispatch and to update the all chats we have this set all chat state updating function to that we are going to pass this updated chats this is going to update the all chats array and not only this we also need to update the red property of the messages to true right because the message is already read so the red property of the messages should also be set to true for that what we are going to do is we are going to call set all messages this is the state updating function to update the set all messages here we are going to get the previous state so i'll call it as previous messages you can name this variable anything and what we want to do here is we want to return previous messages dot map here again i'm going to specify a variable i'll call it as message and then here we are going to return the message object so i'm going to extract all the properties from the message and there i'm going to set this red property to true okay so basically for that chat we will get all the previous messages and for all those messages we are going to set the red property to true that's what we are doing here so at this line we are updating the unread message count and at this line we are updating a read property in message here we are updating unread message count in chat object let's save the changes and what this will do is first of all it will not show the unread message count when we reload the page and it should also show us the tick message immediately so let's go to our application and here we have an error in line number 108 data is not defined and that is in chat area component line number 108 okay this should be message okay let's save the changes now let's go to our application so everything is working as expected there is no errors now currently this mary jane chat is selected now let's go to edge and here john smith chat is selected so now if i send a message from here let's say hi 
let me refresh the page first okay let me also refresh here okay we have this error so function name is map where are we using it it should be map save the changes let me reload the page again okay i'll select this mary jane chat and here also i'll reload the page again i'll select the john smith chat so now mary is going to send a message from here let's say hello john let's send this message and you see hello john is sent and you can immediately see this tick message because for john's account that chat is selected that means john has seen that message and for that this scene tick is immediately displayed so this is what i wanted to implement here and also now if i go ahead and if i reload the page for mary jane i should not see unread message count if i refresh the page there is no unread message count here okay so that means we are also clearing the unread message count in the database now if some other chat is selected and then mary sends a message to john that time it should show the unread message count for example let's say how are you if i send this message for this you will not see that tick mark shown because this message is not seen by john yet because for john that chat is not selected and here you will also see the unread message count if i select this chat now then that unread message count is cleared as you can see it is not showing one anymore and for mary it should be seen so this is what i wanted to implement in this lecture now in the next lecture what we are going to do is we are going to sort these chats based on the last update so whichever chat has received the latest message or whichever chat has sent a new message that chat should be on the top that we are going to do in our next lecture this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day